Good morning, good morning. How are you? I hope you're safe and well because that is the most important thing. Despite the weather app on Mike's phone, which says no rain all day today, the weather is actually raining. So make of that what you will. Anyway, um, today I've got a really interesting article on probability theory and explaining why it's hard. Um, this is on LinkedIn. So, of course, there was a, a link and then people were able to post underneath it. And the article itself is really good. Uh, interestingly, talking about the different types of, of, of thinking. Although if you're a nerd, guilty, uh, it may not be as hard to understand as it is for some people. But the um, the gist of it is that it's to do with the type of thinking you do, and that's why it's, it's tough. But actually, underneath the original LinkedIn post about it, Roland Martland has a really, really good comment on it and saying it's not that hard. It's applying it in the real world. And he has a really, really good example of how things have changed in cars about the various barriers there are to things going wrong. And I'm just going to put the link below this video now. That's it going in. And yeah, I really like that. And I think it deserves a, a wider audience. So, uh, yeah, it. it you know, you, you come across these things that are that explain things in a really easy way, a really simple way. You go, oh, yeah, of course it's like that. Why didn't I think of that before? And it's it's one of those moments. So well done, Roland, and thank you. You should really make your comment into a post and get it out there because it's so good. Anyway, um, and reasons to be cheerful. We have, uh, appropriately enough, because it's coming up to our year end, uh, Russ Abbott in SIDS accounts. Uh, I have to say, not all business people are like the persons portrayed, but it is rather amusing. So uh, that, that's the links going in just now. Well, whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a great day. I hope the weather's better with you than it is with us. I hope that the people who develop weather apps actually take notice of the weather in the various areas and use it to amend their forecasting. Somehow I doubt it. Uh, and I look forward to chatting to you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.